Hey YouTubers, it's Stacker Dad, and I'm back with a really quick video. Uh, I just did a, uh, a little bit of coin roll hunting, $200. Uh, there's all the little empty rolls. And I thought about doing a fun little experiment. So I started stacking all of these coins by the year. And uh, let's see, this one here starts at 71 and goes all the way down to the last one that I had in this stack was a 2007. All right, so if you notice, some of the stacks are a little bit higher than the others. There's three predominant stacks. Um, there's the 71, then there's the 76, and then there's the 97. Um, and it brought, I was just curious. I just wanted to know, like, you know, what the mintage was, like, why were why was I seeing so many more of a certain year than others? So um, I stacked them up just to do like a little little bit of an experiment here, a uh, little bit of statistics, and um, so here's what I got. Uh, I, I I did a little bit of research because I'm you know it's kind of fascinating uh, how the mint works and how they think. So, of course, there's no 1970 because the 1970s were only made for mint sets, and I believe they're, uh, they're silvers. So you're not going to find one of those in circulation. I mean, you might get lucky. Some uh, I've found stuff that, you know, proofs and things that weren't meant for circulation. But chances of you coin roll hunting one of those is pretty rare. So 1970 is not there, of course. 71, lots of coins. It's actually, if we kind of compare... Uh, it's hard to do it, but 71 is the highest stack. Uh, by just a few, 97 is really up there too. Um, so 71 was the first year that the Kennedy half dollar was struck as a clad coin. Uh, and I guess that's probably why there's so many of them. I mean, they, they, they minted over 200 million of these each year in the 70s. Uh, so I guess we used a lot of them back then. Uh, and then down to 75, you'll see that that space is empty. There's nothing there. And the reason for that is, is that in, in 74, they already knew that they were going to be doing a commemorative coin, um, which is the bicentennial coin in, uh, 76. So that's what you see there, that big stack. So they decided not to, to mint any in 75 for, because of that reason. They knew that they were going to release a huge number of the 76s, so they decided not to do it. Then you get down here into the 80s, and really what happened in the 80s was that um, uh, the the half dollar just declined in use, and the mint picked up on that, and so they cut back their, uh, their minting. And for some reason, I don't have a uh, an 86 here. Or in 87, I'm sorry, 87. But they did mint in 87, I just didn't find one. They they minted about 2 million that year. Uh, so going through real quickly here, all these other coins, like I said, in the 80s, really, they're all about the same. In the 90s, the same. And then we hit 97. Just this one year where there's this enormous amount uh, as compared to the rest of them. And the reason for that is unknown. To me, I did a little research I couldn't find out. So if you know, I would love to know. Uh, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment if you have any ideas or thoughts on why there were so many printed. There was uh, about 20 million minted that year. So anyway, from then on, um, in the 2000s, really, it's uh, less than a million a year uh, after 2001. So there it is, just a really quick experiment. Wanted to uh, to kind of share that with you. Would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. And as always, keep stacking.